Christine Nichol here, and I'm talking with two proprietors of restaurants that have the wonderful opportunity to serve their guests by our beautiful Florida waterways. To my left is Isla Edwards, the manager of the Table Creekside, where we are today. And to Isla's left is Steve Harner of the Crow's Nest in Venice, truly a landmark restaurant. Talk to us a little bit about what's happening here with cocktails. Well, um, as you know, I do all my own infusions here. So we infuse, we have other cocktails that aren't infused, but um, they're really a lot of fun and interesting and it can go anywhere and everywhere. And it has, really. Um, before you, there's an Asian pear. That's a pear and vanilla bean infused vodka with lychee and a little bit of candy cranberries at the bottom. I just got done working on my summer menu, so that's um, a beautiful, refreshing, really light way to go for the summer, so we're excited about that too. And so is this part of your summer menu? Um, this one is. This is the ultimate getaway. It's cucumber infused vodka and a splash of uh, St. Germain's and a little bit of cucumber water. Oh, that looks it's beautiful. It's really and good. This, is this a sangria sitting in front it, of Steve? It looks like it, but it's actually um, a bojito. So a mojito is with rum and mint, um, lime, simple syrup. A bojito, which we named here, is um, vodka and basil. Steve, you and I have been in this business a lot longer than Isla has. Can you ever imagine 10 years ago that we'd be putting basil in a cocktail? Absolutely not. And I heard Isla <laughs> mention bacon earlier, and that wasn't uh, yeah. uh, ever in my thought pattern. Now. It's you good. Know, I come from the area of highballs and martinis and Manhattans. But uh, uh, Isla's certainly on the leading edge, um, and uh, it's great to see. You can relate it to farm to table as well because you're using local herbs, local limes, right. uh, local products to infuse, and uh, I'm excited about it. Our, our craft cocktail list is, is much smaller, but we've certainly ventured into that. And we're, uh, we're juicing our own limes and lemons now, whereas before we would buy a mix or a concentrate. Um, customers are expecting that, and I think the restaurants in this area recognize that and have been delivering it. But uh, yeah, craft cocktails, uh, it's an exciting uh, new frontier for, uh, for uh, our business. You know, speaking of warm weather, one of the things that uh, many people like to indulge in is a nice cold beer. Mm -hmm. And uh, the craft cocktail is really hand uh, in mouth, if you will, with craft beers. And I know, Steve, you were talking about the fact that you personally enjoy an IPA. Um, I had one at Disney last weekend, if you can believe that. In the middle of the Magic Kingdom, they're serving IPAs. I thought, you know, this is really a trend that's become mainstream. Is that your, um, is that a reflection of what you have here at your restaurants? Well, we, we, uh, we have a, a local Tampa IPA on tap. Um, we've been recently approached by a Sarasota brewery, um, Big Top, um, actually J. There's Big Top and J. Dubs are two that I'm aware of. Darwin's has a brewery, Motorworks uh, uh, up a little further north. Um, but it's definitely uh, 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 an up and coming area and it goes back to that infusions that Isla was talking about. It's that local crafting. Let's talk a little bit about Savor Sarasota. It's coming up in a couple of weeks and I'm hoping that you all have your menus um, arranged, um, but how the how about the beverage part of Savor Sarasota? I know in the past some restaurants have liked to pair what they have with suggested wines or suggested drinks. Is that something that you're going to be wading into this year? Absolutely. We have our menu is beautiful. It's it's amazing. I can't wait for it to come out and so we can play through the Savor Savor Sarasota, but we're going to do wine specials. Um, probably um, bottle of wine, a featured bottle of wine for like $25, you know, something that would pair nice with um, one of their entrees, so that's what we're doing there. Great. And Steve, you've had mm -hmm. lots of experience with Saver Sarasota. Yeah, I think Saber's this is Sarasota. the table's first this year. This is our yeah. first. Well, this is well, our first year. I'm excited. Because it it's, uh, it's, uh, people will come looking and um, you'll get new customers and, and build new customers. Good. But it's a great opportunity for restaurants and chefs and bartenders of craft cocktails to, to show their to show their skills and uh, 
an opportunity to, for people to come out and try places maybe they hadn't. And of course the value is, is, is a tremendous value. Um, we do feature uh, wine pairings with our selections, uh, one for each course, and uh, that's obviously optional. Uh, people can substitute other wines, but we look at uh, what we're serving and, and uh, you know, we'll pair a, a muscadet with our uh, oyster appetizer. and. Um, we try to feature, even though we're primarily a seafood restaurant, we try to feature a non-seafood entree or make a non-seafood entree available, which we, do, which we will. Well, I know that I want to try both of your restaurants during Saver Sarasota. It's, I mean, you could eat out every day twice and still not cover all the restaurants that have Saver Sarasota menus, so um, I'll be looking forward to seeing what you guys have to offer. Thank you for being with me, and me. how about a toast? Absolutely. To Saver Sarasota. Saver Sarasota. And to beautiful waterside dining. <laughs>